What's up? Cleaning windows in this restaurant right now. This has been my client for like four and a half years. And um, we do all the bar mirrors and everything in this banquet room, you know, all the mirrors and everything. But I'm making this video to say, this guy who uh, worked for me, great guy, he just didn't know that the first time he came back here to clean the mirrors, you know, he accidentally touched one of these lights with the squeegee and the light spun off, fell and shattered on the ground. He comes and he's like, Keith, um, I just broke a light in the bank room. I'm like, fuck. Dude, I've been doing this job four and a half years and never broke anything. And your first time, I'm like, I didn't say that, but I was thinking that. So I come and look, the light's broken on the ground. I'm like, okay, so look at all these other lights. I go get the owner and I'm real cool with the owner. He's a Greek guy. He looks, he goes, motherfucker. He was like really pissed. I'm like, you know, <laughs> cause I'm totally cool. I've never seen him pissed like this. He goes, do you know how old that light is? You can't replace these lights. You can't get these lights again. I'm like, no dude, I'll get it. I'll pay for it, you know. So I go online, I can't find the light anywhere. I take the light apart. It's from 1994 and it's a specially made light by some company in California and you can't get it. I spend the next two weeks on the phone every other day calling different companies and ordering and this and that and I finally find one, I order it. I pay a hundred, no it was like, sorry, with shipping and everything it was like 110 bucks or something. Wrong damn size. Totally different light they ship. It looked the same, but it was a different size. I'm like, well, dude, we can go to Home Depot and I can get some ones that look very similar to that. And then instead of replacing just the one that broke, I replaced both of them. And then at least you'll have two matching lights and it'll look good. And he goes, no, you can't do that because it'll look stupid compared to all the other ones. It has to be the same light. I'm like, dude, listen, man, I'm trying to make this right with you. Him and his brother own the restaurant. And I was showing him pictures on you know, Amazon and Google and different light companies. And I'm driving around just stressing out. You'll get to the point of my story. I'm like, dude, please, trust me. We'll do get two lights, I'll pay for both of them that look similar. And finally, I'm like, okay, you know, whatever, let's just get this done. But I go online and I find a company that's got the same light, but they're discontinued and now their new ones made. Anyways, I'll get to the point. I pay for two lights, I have them shipped. It cost me like 230 bucks, plus the other light was no point in sending back. And by the end it was all said and done, it cost me like uh, 300 and something dollars. Plus all the time it took me and picking up the light and then I had to come here in the morning on like a Sunday and spend an hour installing them and taking apart and redoing the wiring. And finally got these lights. See, they're really nice, they look good. You, nobody would be able to tell the difference, whatever. That cost me I had to put a price on it probably between six and seven hundred dollars is what it cost me six to seven hundred dollars if I do the opportunity cost because a guy who works for me accidentally hit the light with the squeegee and it spun off and it broke what if that was like a twelve hundred dollar chandelier or $2,500 or a $10,000 window. Well, that's why you could have insurance, I know. But, so, here's another thing. Why, why don't you just blow up your company and have 20 employees? Why don't you have 20 trucks, man? I guess that's why. I'm not at the point yet in my business where it's just math to me. It's just math. Because every time I've grown my business, a whole bunch of shit's now jumping on my plate and I'm putting out fires. I'm like, fuck this, and then I sp shrink it back down to a manageable state. And I really believe that the, the amount of consciousness and leadership it takes and high prices to be able to afford to pay for everything totally legitimized so you can have, you know, it uh, really has to be really thought out like that. And, I, and I'm beginning to see that more and more clearly in my business. But for now, that was one of many good learning lessons. Trust me, I go through them just like you. Sweet. I like making these videos. All right, I'm getting back to work.